Hello, Internet. Steve here back with another, with another Unity Asset Store review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, one of the Aquarius Fantasy series, specifically the Aquarius Fantasy Orcs pack by Aquarius Max. Uh, this asset retails for 65 USD at the time of uh, recording this. Um, we're going to go over the ratings real quick. Uh, as a quick reminder, I give a pass or fail to anything that I rate. I don't do number ratings. Um, to, in my opinion, things either, you know, cut it or they don't. So quality. Uh, I think the quality on this is good. Um, it's a, uh, it is a super optimized asset, <laughs> art package. Um, and it being, uh, as provide like, like given how optimized it is, from a, like a technical optimization standpoint, they still cram a lot of fidelity into the uh, models. So yeah, uh, quality absolutely passes in my opinion. Modularity and workability, um, it's modular. For the price, I would have liked to have seen it be a little bit more modular in some areas, but we'll kind of go into that in a little bit when we dive into the scene. Um, this one does not have an asset manifest scene, so I'm going to just try to point things out in the um, in the demo scene itself. Uh, support and serviceability, uh, you know, the Aquarius Max um, developer is responsive to stuff. They've been on the asset store a long time. They've been doing this a long time. So, yeah, that also passes. And um, value, you know, 65 bucks is a decent chunk of change. I would have liked to see a little bit more out of this package, but I do think that at the end of the day, it is still valuable. So I'm 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 passing it on that as well. I I do think for again for 65 bucks I would have liked to have seen a little bit more um, you know variety in some of the assets offering and a little bit more modularity and stuff. But I I do think that you know if you just come if you just you know boil it down to whether it's 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 cost outweighs the benefit. Um, I, I, I think that it's, it's good, especially when paired with, um, you know, the, uh, developers, other assets. So let's hop right in here and, uh, just do a quick run through of the demo scene. Just like always, um, all I do is I dump my preferred character controller in and push play. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, so you got a few uh, different types of cages and stuff like that. Um, bear in mind, this is an orcs, like a, supposed to be like an orcs village or encampment. So the models are supposed to be a little bit like the model should be a little bit bigger in scale. And I do think that that scale matches um, what what the uh, uh, what the aesthetic that they're going for is. Um, so there's 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 a couple of things like that where there is a little attention to detail or I should say usability. So like I'm stuck here, I kind of on the stair there, I kind of have to move back and forth. It's usually not a problem with most art assets, and it just I think that they were I think that they were trying to make it like they were trying to give a little bit too much detail on it, and it ended up uh, making it a little bit um, a little bit a little bit less stable than I would have liked. As you can see, the mantling works. Um, we'll do wall running in a little bit um, just to show you that that works. Uh, in, in some instances, it doesn't work as well. Let's see if I can do this here. Oh, nope. <laughs> there we go. All right. So it's got these ramparts. Uh, these ramparts are all one large, like each section is one large prefab. Um, so you run into things like this, which I'm not a, that to me kind of looks messy. Now, the way you can get around that is um, kind of like they did down there. They stagger them a little bit like they make one of these sections a little higher than the other that can make that not happen but that sort of thing to me like little stuff like that can make it just not be great so um but these ramparts like i said are all one prefab so like right here they raised it a little bit so it doesn't have that overlap and gets that and doesn't get that weird 
a texture you know field but then you run into this problem where you know you kind of have to jump over that little lip because there's not a good way for the um, the character controller to necessarily handle it if it isn't uh, um, if it isn't uh, uh, or if it's if it has too much of a collider there um, so we're gonna do this oh no we're not <laughs> I'll go up here. So let's hop down here. So there are those ramparts. Uh, oh man, I am stuck, aren't I? Uh, oh yeah, I'm stuck. All right. <laughs> Pop out and put it back in. So I'll just point out the rest of those. So there's those ramparts, but there's also those sort of non rampart walkways up there. Those are also um, chunked out. These are kind of these are chunked out in a way that I actually do kind of like, um, so it allows you to make various um, uh, small little uh, uh, forget the name of these off the top of my head, but but these sorts of raised um, um, you know guard rail areas. Um, there's a few different uh, types of um, like tent type prefabs. Um, so um and then there's these little like outhouse sort of like lean twos probably be a better way to put that um there's a few different types of structures like these um there's a few different types of pots you know you all know how much i like my clutter um there's a few different types of structures a few different types of you know boxes and like meat clutter and food clutter and stuff like that uh, this asset does come with a few um, pieces of uh, terrain and shrubbery that are in some of their, some of the Aquarius Max's other um, uh, packages um, as well. So it's kind of a little bit of a bonus. Uh, there's a few different types of these cages and stuff. And we'll, I'll, I'll dive into that in editor mode so you can see some of that. Um, so I kind of showed you at this point most of what there is to see. Um, we'll just we'll, we'll do this real quick. So there's these um, types of uh, 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 stability, you know, beams for like mines, um, and then uh, pass it up to my. There's these skulls. There's a I, I believe three different skull variants. There's at least a few different skull variants. Um, it was in like the chieftain's hut here. So yeah, here we go. So I think that those are different. Those two are different. And then there's only two variants. Uh, there's a few different types of these crystals that also have a glowing FX on them um, that you get out of it. Just get out of the box with it rather I should say um, here real quick there's like an arena type fighting pit here there so there's these sorts of spiked ramparts as well um, uh, and then so these are all like these walls these wooden like log walls I know that's unfortunate if you can hear that. I, I don't know if you can hear that that well, but um, so those walls are all well modularized too. Um, and then there's these sort of lookout, uh, where is it? There they are, those lookout tower things as well. Um, and there's a few different other baskets and drums and stuff like that too. So I think I think that's all the major stuff. I'm gonna pop out here and we'll just sort of look at a few of these things. So see how that, um, and then you know, so it's it's not like you can really break it down too much. Like uh, you can do let's see here. I think uh, oh yeah, those are still odds. Never mind. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, so uh yeah so actually that's a good point to bring up now I'll bring this up there are lots to some of these um uh so we'll go on here to the 
the tents and stuff, it's all one piece. Um, but then over here you've got, so see how the tent and the awnings are two separate pieces. Um, and then I think, doo -doo -doo, yeah, you can break these out. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, those are still odds again. <laughs> um, I think that there should be a singular awning somewhere in here too. Um, but then, yeah, a lot of these structures are going to be one piece, um, which is unfortunate. But uh, uh, so those ramps are different pieces. These guys are different pieces. These, this is also uh, the one tent we went into that's used in a different tent. Uh, these cages should be, yeah, just singular. So yeah, see, see what I mean about like some of the stuff is modularized, some isn't. Um, but having said that, uh, <laughs> like the truth of the matter is, is that this sort of aesthetic and fantasy is usually like hodgepodge nonsense anyways so uh you know like orcs and uh um you know giants and stuff like that in a fantasy setting are typically like uh they kind of just build crap on top of crap in a way <laughs> um so it's not gonna like this isn't gonna be like like even with with, with the aesthetics it, is, it isn't gonna be a super clean like pretty sort of aesthetic that uh, you know, you're going to be able to make these really beautiful buildings with and stuff. It's just not the way that it, that like that type of fantasy setting or that type of fantasy race works. But so see how these, I mean, these are individualized. These walkways are individualized. So you can build some nice, you know, interconnected walkways and stuff. But, but then, yeah, a lot of the structures just aren't. And, um, I guess, you know, again, I, I think this pack is worth 65 bucks, but it would have been nice to, to see like additional modularity with this one, which, which it's kind of weird because, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot more Aquarius Max. Um, uh, I'm going to be looking at a lot more of their assets and a lot of their assets are like hyper modularized. Like when you start to get into like the medieval castle packs and town packs and, and town packs and stuff, those are all like hyper modularized. And um, this one was just, it, it left a little bit to be desired as far as the modularization is concerned. But like, I mean, so these are all well modularized. You can make like big or small, you know, pits. You can use these for ramparts. Um, Speaking of that, you got, you know, I mean, these are all chunked out in a small degree and you can scale them up and down and stuff. And um, so I, I, I don't know. I, I, I do think that this pack is worth it. I do think it's worth the 65 bucks. I just would have for, for that price, I guess I would have liked to have seen a little bit more modularization or a little bit more options for, um, you know, buildings and stuff like that like so when i did the simple simple polygon universe one um you know i i was pretty clear about the fact that even though those were all static buildings just the sheer volume that you got out of it made up for it so um you know i i would like to see one of those two things happen here but at the end of the day i do think that the that the value is worth or that the uh, um, price is, is worth it for the value you get out of it. I don't, it's not a terrible pack. It's not bad or anything. So yeah, uh, that's kind of my thoughts on this particular asset. And uh, if you have this asset, let me know what you think of it in the comment. If you don't, let me know if you have any questions that I'd be able to answer. And um, I'll see everyone in the next one.